This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 4th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let's take a look at the sounding from the Shelby County Airport from uh, yesterday evening. And it shows a pretty dry layer from about uh, just above 700 millibars all the way up to uh, about 200 millibars. So it's going to be kind of tough to get much in the way of convection, especially in central and eastern Alabama. But the moisture a little bit deeper in the western section. So isolated shower is a possibility there today. Satellite image this morning shows that we do have a few clouds, especially over the eastern half of the state as well as along the coastal area. At the surface map, we're looking at, uh, of course, Hermine moving uh, slowly through uh, the, the Atlantic uh, waters there just offshore and likely to stay offshore for several days, may even gain uh, hurricane strength. Meantime, high pressure is nosing in across the southeastern U.S. Uh, around behind Hermine. In the upper atmosphere, we've got a ridge over the northern gulf that is bulging northward and getting stronger, and that's going to bring some rather warm weather to the southeast U.S. and central Alabama for Wednesday especially when the ridge is likely to be the strongest. Temperatures this morning starting out in the lower 70s, few uh, locations dipping down into the upper 60s. Radar clear this morning, although we do have uh, some showers along the Gulf Coast. Looks like showers will be pretty likely down that way. Watch warning map is not too bad. We do have a lot of red over there along the mid-Atlantic states and southern New England, and that is all tropical storm uh, warnings as a result of Hermine. Over to the west, uh, we have uh, the purple and the dark blue areas. Actually, are, well, the purple is winter weather advisory and the uh, dark blue are freeze advisories. The uh, reddish, uh, reddish pink areas are high fire danger. And then we do have some flash flood watches out for the northwestern corner of the state of Kansas. QPF-wise, uh, not much being forecast for the state of Alabama, especially uh, across uh, north and central Alabama for the next five days. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk area over parts of uh, the Dakotas and uh, um, about the western two-thirds of Nebraska for day one. That's today. Uh, Monday, Labor Day, the slight risk shifts a little bit further east, uh, primarily over uh, parts of Minnesota and the eastern, um, extreme eastern sections of South Dakota. Then it shifts a little bit further to the east and southeast on day three. That would be Tuesday into Wednesday, and the slight risk centered primarily on Iowa, uh, touching a few of the surrounding states. All right, the tropical Atlantic is uh, quieting a little bit. We still have Hermine, and uh, then we also have that disturbance approaching the Leeward Islands. Hermine still looking pretty uh, good up there, uh, although getting a lot of drier air into the uh, southern semicircle, or the, especially the southeastern quadrant of the storm. Forecast expected to remain a, at tropical storm strength uh, through Monday, but on late Monday and into Tuesday, it's likely to regain hurricane strength once again, but then eventually begin to move out away by the time we reach Thursday. And uh, the disturbance approaching the Leeward Islands is still rather broad, but unfortunately, or fortunately, however you like to look at this, conditions just don't favor much in the way of intensification of that area. And the uh, various computer models are suggesting it's going to come into the Caribbean. Uh, the GFS and the European simply don't do much with it. But remember, they didn't do much with Hermine either until it got into the Gulf of Mexico. All right, the 060 GFS model run this morning, and there's our upper air chart and the, the ridge nosing in uh, across the southeastern U.S. And at the surface, uh, we have this little uh, area of a little deeper moisture along the western counties and into Mississippi, where I think the isolated showers are uh, going to be a little bit more prevalent. The 594 contour uh, begins to show its ugly head around uh, the lower Mississippi River Valley on Monday. So Labor Day is going to be a warm day and showers primarily to our uh, west. Tuesday, the 594 grows quite a bit, so the ridge strengthening and so a good deal of heat, lots of sinking motion, and don't expect to see much in the way of any showers uh, over much of Alabama. Wednesday, the 594 continues to grow stronger, stretching all the way from northern Mexico all the way across the lower Mississippi River Valley and uh, just almost, uh, well, it actually hits southwestern Pennsylvania, so a very sprawling upper air ridge. The ridge disappears on Thursday as we begin to see the uh, 
overall pattern uh, flattened just a little bit, so the heights fall. And as a result, uh, we see that by Friday, uh, the ridge is now over basically the southeast coast of the U.S., and we're seeing more of a trough develop along the eastern slopes of the Rockies. And that keeps us pretty much dry, but we do see uh, the possibilities that a front will be approaching, and we see that especially on Saturday when uh, the strong close low is moving into the western Great Lakes, and we see that trough coming down into uh, uh, eastern Nebraska and Kansas. So that could be, uh, well, will be developing a surface low over the western Great Lakes and a cold front stretching uh, from that low across uh, parts of Michigan and into the extreme western Ohio River Valley and then back into Oklahoma. We see that strong upper uh, closed low short wave move over into the eastern Great Lakes approaching New England on Sunday. And that uh, uh, then brings the front down into our area, but the GFS is suggesting that it's not going to do, uh, do much in the way of giving us much in the way of precipitation as we see a 1020 high come in behind that for the surface pattern. Looking out into voodoo country, now yesterday we had uh, a very strong-looking tropical system. That's completely gone today. Uh, there's a, another trough around the 13th of September. That would uh, portend a bit of a front coming through the southeastern U.S. once again. We see another one around the 16th of September, uh, so the pattern becoming very active, according to the GFS. And uh, we see a little bit uh, of uh, a, a weakening of the overall pattern as far as the trough in the eastern part of the country around the 19th. But remember, it's all voodoo, so it could change tomorrow. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back with the next edition uh, Monday morning. Not sure about a, a holiday schedule, whether he'll have one or two uh, videos. In the meantime, enjoy your day and Godspeed.